The topic of this video is graphing numbers with specific distances from zero. On the number line below, indicate how far each number is from zero. All right, let's do that. How far is three from zero? Well, it's one, two, three steps away. How far is negative four from zero? Well, it's four steps away. Essentially, what we're measuring here is absolute value. The absolute value of 3 is 3. The absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4. So with this in mind, we can fill in all of the distances. We notice that they decrease to 0 and then increase again. This tool will allow us to solve problems that contain absolute value bars, but also contain an inequality symbol, such as less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. Let me show you what I mean. Shade all of the numbers that are less than five steps from zero. Well, that would include zero, which is zero steps from zero, one, which is one step from zero, two, which is two steps from zero, three, which is three steps from zero, and 4, which is 4 steps from 0. But we're not just limited to the integers. There are also numbers in between the numbers. For example, 2.5 is 2.5 steps from 0, and that is also less than 5. And so is 4 4.5, 4.7, 4.9, 4.99, 4.999, 4.9999999. In other words, about as close as you can get to 5 without actually touching it. The same thing is true on the other side. Negative 4 is 4 steps away from 0, and that's less than 5. The same thing is true of negative 4.9, and negative 4.99, and negative 4.99999. So the picture that we're looking for is going to look like this. Anything from negative 5 to 5. And we're going to use parenthesis at each end because we're not including 5 and negative 5 themselves. We want the numbers that are less than 5 steps from 0. And 5 is exactly 5 steps from 0, so we cannot include it. All right, so shading the numbers, our answer would look like this. Let's move on to our next problem. Shade the numbers that are less than negative 4 steps from 0. Well, if you're less than negative 4, then you must be negative. For example, negative 5 or negative 6. So how do you shade something that's negative six steps away from zero? The answer is, you can't. The answer to this problem is, no solution. Which brings us to our third problem. Shade the numbers that are one or more steps away from zero. All right, let's do that. So that means that starting at zero, you travel one step to the right, and then keep going, or one step to the left, and then keep going. So I'll put a bracket at one to indicate that I can go exactly one step to the right, and then anything beyond that would be more, or I could go exactly one step to the left, where I'm at negative one, and then anything beyond that would be more, one or more one or more steps from zero. We can even see that by looking at our chart up here. Of all of the numbers at the top, which numbers are one or more? Well, that would be all of these and all of these. And you can see we get the same kind of shape that we do on our number line here. Understanding this concept is an extremely important skill as we now work towards our next learning objective, which is to solve absolute value inequalities. Those will be absolute value statements that contain greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to.